Have you ever seen a situation where good and bad work together? This movie recap would explain better for you. Let's dive into it. In 1989, John Shaft, Samuel L. Jackson, a private investigator, his wife, Maya Babanikas, Regina Hall, are seen in a car having an argument. Shaft notices something fishy and suddenly they have an attack. Shaft managed to take out all of them. Shaft, Maya and his infant son, John J.J. Shaft, survive an assassination attempt by a drug lord, Piero Gordito Carrera, Isaac de Boncole. Concerned that Shaft's lifestyle will put them in danger, Maya breaks up with him and races J.J. on her own. 25 years later, J.J., Jesse Usher, is an FBI agent and a cybersecurity expert with a degree from MIT. Karim, Avan Jagia, JJ's childhood friend, calls him to meet him for them to discuss some things. JJ's boss, Vietti, Titus Welliver, calls for a meeting to discuss about a terrorism attempt and the suspected mosque run by the Ramam. JJ meets Karim at a bar with Sasha Alexandra Ship, JJ's other childhood friend and his own crush. Kareem tells JJ about his rehabilitation program, Brothers Watching Brothers, but their conversation is interrupted when Kareem gets a message to meet someone at the moment. JJ follows up to know what was actually the problem, but he says he appreciates JJ for always being there for him. The next day, Kareem dies of a heroin overdose, JJ concludes he must have been murdered. He makes some thorough investigations on the crime scenes and travels to Harlem to investigate Manuel a drug dealer who runs the neighborhood and sold the heroin that allegedly killed Kareem. He then asked a kid to show him where Manuel is, but the kid requested money before he can show Manuel's location. The kid finally shows him Manuel's building. He goes in there to meet many junkies. He finally meets Manuel. JJ asked Manuel about what happened to Karim, but is violently ejected from his property. While being treated for a minor injury in the hospital by Sasha, he shows her Karim's toxicology report. She notices that the amount of heroin in Karim's system would have killed him, long before he could have taken that much by himself, suggesting that he was indeed murdered. With no other recourse, JJ turns to Shaft for assistance. Shaft can recognize that JJ is his son, and points a gun at him. Shaft realizes that JJ is now FBI agent and he feels bad about it. JJ tells him about his intentions, and how he wants his help. Shaft agrees to help, after realizing that JJ's case may lead him to Gordito. Shaft sees the swollen on JJ's head and asks who did that to him. JJ tells him it's Manuel and Shaft heads straight to Manuel's ghetto. Shaft gives JJ a gun but he states clearly that he's an anti-gun. Shaft takes his pump action and attacks Manuel and shows him a lesson for attacking his son. The two begin investigating together, but JJ's progressive white-collar outlook on life clashes with Shaft's old-school street ways. After confronting Manuel again, the Shafts investigate brothers watching brothers, the drug rehab clinic Kareem was a part of. There they learn that Kareem stopped going to rehab in favor of attending services at a mosque that's currently under suspicion by the FBI for terrorism. Later that day, Shaft goes to the club with JJ, where he introduces him to the ladies that he is his son. The girls try to keep JJ company which leads him to get drunk. Shaft goes to a friend and tells him about Gordito watching over brothers watching brothers, and JJ is his lead to get revenge on him. JJ run into a fight, and which to Shaft's surprise, he proves that he's a man by beating the opponent mercilessly. The next day, Sasha accompanies JJ and Shaft to investigate the mosque. The Imam sees JJ's FBI badge and they are ejected from the premises. Shaft convinces JJ and Sasha to have a romantic dinner together and the Shafts next investigate a convenience store, owned by a woman named, Benny Rodriguez, Lauren Velez, who donated $500,000 to the mosque. Maya calls JJ to inform him that she is coming to New York to meet a man for a date. She is overheard and followed by Shaft. At the dinner with Sasha, Sasha talks about Shaft's careless and reckless behavior, while JJ admit he's reckless but deep down he's a good man. Maya goes to meet the man she's on date with. Suddenly, Shaft started to create a scene. The man asked her if she knows Shaft, and Maya describes Shaft as someone who destroys everything he touched. Maya asked to go to the washroom. On her way to the washroom, Shaft asked her how she's doing and she jealously roasts the two girls with Shaft. Shaft introduced her to the girls as JJ's mother, so they shouldn't worry. At the washroom, Maya talks to herself, believing that Shaft wants her back. 
Mayu comes back to see Shaft with the man and before they can leave, Shaft is attacked. But Shaft takes all of them out and rushes with Mayu to go and see JJ. Since he might also be in danger Sasha and JJ are also attacked but JJ surprisingly and epically takes them off. JJ and Shaft survive two separate assassination attempts, orchestrated by Benny. Mayu forces Shaft to kick JJ out of the investigation for his own safety. JJ turns over the evidence they have gathered to the FBI, who arrest the mosque's imam. However, the media accuses the FBI of Islamophobia, and JJ's boss, Vieti, fires him. JJ returns to Shaft and overhears a conversation about Gordito, making him to believe that his father was stringing him along the entire time. Shaft had also figured that Benny was Gordito's cousin. While Shaft visits and reconciles with Maya, JJ and Sasha track down Benny to an abandoned warehouse and learn that Brothers Watching Brothers is a front for a drug smuggling ring, backed by Benny. Kareem was killed when he threatened to blow the whistle on their operation of purchasing broken army vehicles in Afghanistan, filling them with drugs and bringing them to US under guise of helping train veterans for vocational jobs. The $500,000 was Karim's share, which he refused to accept. So, Benny transferred the same to the mosque that Kareem supported. But he was killed by his comrades at Brothers Watching Brothers, who didn't want any loose ends. JJ is caught by the smugglers. Sasha is captured while JJ is rescued by Shaft. The two visit JJ's grandfather, John Shaft Sr., Richard Roundtree, to acquire more firepower, and Shaft Sr. decides to accompany them in an assault on Gordito's penthouse. The Shafts kill the drug smugglers and rescue Sasha before being confronted at gunpoint by Gordito. Gordito attempts to shoot JJ despite Shaft, but Shaft takes the bullet and shoots and knocks Gordito out of a window to his death, before collapsing. In the aftermath, Shaft recovers at the hospital. JJ and Sasha kiss and begin a relationship. Vietti offers JJ his job back, but JJ turns it down in favor of joining his father and grandfather in their PI business. That's all for this blockbuster movie recap. Just like and subscribe for more interesting movie recaps and explains.